Preliminary performance numbers are in for investment funds in Canada for the month of April. And for regular watchers of this webcast, you, you're not going to see too much difference from previous months. I'm here with uh, Morningstar fund analyst Achilles. Now, the best and worst performers for the, for the past month have been pretty much the same as what we've seen in almost every other month so far this year. Japanese equities were the, were the best performers with a 7.8% return. Uh, they've been pretty much the top performer uh, every month so far this year. Yes, um, the Central Bank of Japan started implementing their announcement of um, aggressive uh, monetary policy and that has been in effect and um, yes the Canadian uh, the Japanese ca category outperformed despite the weakening um, uh, of yen versus the Canadian dollar. Mm -hmm. The the uh, the, uh, the Nikkei index was actually up a lot more than the uh, than the 7.8 percent return that Canadian funds got but uh, yeah the uh, the devaluation of the yen took away a big chunk of those returns. Now, unfortunately, not a lot of people are taking advantage of those returns because the Japanese equity category is one of the smallest in the, uh, in the Canadian fund universe. True, there are just a handful of funds uh, in Canada that offer exposure in, the, in this category, and actually one of, their biggest, uh, one of the biggest funds uh, um, that's sponsored by investors is going to be uh, merging into another fund. So, uh, it's very limited choices in this category. Mm -hmm. Now, other uh, top performers for the month, uh, we saw foreign equities continue to do well, uh, namely Asia Pacific equity, uh, global small mid cap equity, and international equity all returned over 3%. European equity also did well with 2.1%. Yes, it's true. The um, Cyprus is out of the headlines, and that has been positive for the markets. And there was a expectation about the, from the that the, Euro, the central uh, the European Bank will cut rates, which was confirmed today uh, with an announcement uh, that they will be um, also cutting rates uh, in, within the European Union. Now, here in North America, the uh, returns weren't so good. Uh, the U.S. Did, uh, U.S. large caps did fairly well with the S&P 500 uh, gaining over 2%, but the U.S. dollar also lost ground uh, versus the loony, so, the, so funds in the U.S. equity category only returned 0.9%. And unfortunately for Canadian equity funds, all the returns were negative. Uh, all five categories posted negative returns for the month. Yes. Uh, in Generally, it has been a volatile month. Uh, there have been mixed economic uh, data through globally, but it's also been the case in the uh, U.S. as well. Um, manufacturing index has been uh, a decline and has been a negative news, but, and growth for the quarter has been uh, picking up at 2.5%. Uh, um, but the main concern in U.S. is the high unemployment that will uh, keep the Fed uh, the Federal Bank on a purchasing mode and keeping the, the rates at the low levels that should uh, help the markets uh, continue performing well. Now here in Canada, unfortunately, it's the uh, material sector that's been dragging down the index. It's true. Uh, gold had a very volatile month, uh, starting with uh, the news from um, Cyprus that they would have to sell some of their gold reserves to raise funds to meet the um, agreement with uh, Troika, um, they had a sharp, uh, there was a sharp decline in the price of gold, but then it rebounded uh, to a loss of uh, just 8% for the month, mainly due to the uh, expansionary uh, policies of uh, central banks around the world. Mm -hmm. And despite that, the uh, precious metals equity fund category here in Canada had the worst return once again, the fifth time in the past six months that has been the, uh, the bottom performer, except this time the loss was 19.4% for the month. It's the worst return for, the, for this uh, fund index since the, uh, s since the crash of October 2008. And the other big loser, uh, no surprise, natural resources equity, 7.2% loss. Now, thank you very much for your insights, you Achilles. And for more on Morningstar's survey of fund performance for the month of April, please check the link right below the video player and check back with us regularly for more news and updates.